a big talking point since to, you know, at least a sort of unimportant talking point with regard to what's going on with the team this year, obviously, but Kevin Garnett mentioned Ray Allen is like, you know, you're next, you're next. And we don't need to have that conversation because I don't believe Ray Allen is next, but you know, it, it did get me thinking who would be next, you know, recognized. And I, I made the case, we were talking to Ian Thompson on the show earlier this week. And I, I think that, you know, it, it could be a few years, but uh, Danny Ainge, not the number 44, but Ainge, you know, like as like Losky, Ainge in the rafters, you know, recognizing his contributions to the organization, especially if this team, which has his fingerprints all over it, goes out mm-hmm. and wins a championship. But uh, w- what I'm building toward is, you know, as, as we're, you know, joined by a Hall of Famer and you, I mean, wh- what about you? I, like, I, I, I'm not saying, well, seriously, though, like Ch- Chick Hearn what has, a, me, huh? well, what Chick about? Hearn has a banner in LA from the Lakers. <laughs> You know, it's, it's not like this isn't this isn't some like asinine thought on my part. And I, I realized that, you know, I, I appreciate it. J- like Johnny I appreciate Most. It. Here's like, what the thought is. I appreciate it. Well, I like jo- to- Johnny Most, I understand, doesn't have, you know, a banner in the rafters. But like, well, and that's that's what I'm saying. Like, I could see another microphone in the rafters for Mike Gorman. I, I don't know. <laughs> that, is, that is so far away from anything I ever thought was going to happen to me in my life that it's hard to even conceive but thanks for having that idea see what you can see me and sell it <laughs> is it make a call <laughs> see what i could do but yeah. it's i mean look i i don't know how much longer you want to do this obviously you're going to go as as long as you want to go nobody's kicking you out the door and, and we love you know listening to you every single night but i think that like obviously whether it's something in the rafters whether it's some sort of like the the mike gorman press box i don't know what it, like some recognition <laughs> coming down the line to to celebrate you and i think that would be a very appropriate one well thank you and, and I, i'm flattered that you would think that way uh i, I tell you who's next number to be retired though smart set up his career here which I think he will now that this is gone by. Whether they have him through what two more years, I think, in Sally. Um, it might even be three. Well, he just got extended just signed in the offseason. So it might be three more after this well, year. Like yeah. So, yeah. so uh, my, my point is that he's probably not going to go in for Sally. This is probably where he's going to play out the string in Boston. Um, so that could be a number. I would put his number up there if he, again, played out his career in Boston and maybe we steal one, get a flag here while he's there. Uh, Riding the duck boats. That'd be nice. Yeah, yeah it would be. Yeah, I mean, you've, you've got a few guys on this team that, you know, if if obviously they stick around and, and they win a banner or two, you know, mm-hmm. Tatum Brown smart, like there's there's oh, potential sure. there for all of them. No question. No, and, and, and don't forget Rob Williams. Again, depending on how things play out down the line. But I guess Marcus is the more immediate because he's more likely to, to retire before either one of those other guys are, are likely to retire. Sure. Um, Although he's got a ways to go. Like he's, he's not even a decade in the league yet. I know he's been, it feels like he's been around forever, but, it, but it's not maybe 26, 27. Tw- yeah. Smart. 27. I think. Yeah. Yeah. I think he's 27, yeah. yeah. So he, you know, you he's got three years, four years at, at the peak of his abilities and then probably has another down year. So he's probably got five or six years left that he's a very effective player. Combine that with what he has already. If they would be put a championship in the middle of all that, I would put his number up in a heartbeat. Not to, not to take us back, Mike, but now I feel like I'm getting emotional just thinking about it. How much longer do we get to listen to you? Um, a while. <laughs> I, I, I like I, a I, while. That's good. Yeah, probably not, probably two years. If you were, if you were trying to pin me down, I'd say two years. Um, I, I'd like to. I don't know whether how much I want to go on the road, so I'm going to have to have that discussion with with, with both the Celtics and, and stuff. But if we can reach some sort of agreement there, um, I would say a couple of years. See, I, if you'd asked me that again three months ago, I might have said maybe a year. But now <laughs> yeah, tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Um, but now I'm intrigued. I'm yeah, really so long as the team's fun to watch. To go. Um, they, they, they're fun to watch. They're playing the game now the way the game should be played, which I didn't think they were in the first 25 games of, of this year, and I didn't think they played at all last year. I thought they became a just ridiculous three-point shooting team last year. So um, I like the way they play the game now. I like the spirit with which they play it. I, I don't care if they don't know who I am or not. That it, it, it's not a big deal to me one way or the other. Um, and I just want to sit there in the garden and watch good basketball being played. Um, and I think there's a chance we're all going to see that over the next two, three years. Um, I, w- I would not. Uh, I would be a champion to put Danny's name or something up there. 
um, because he's he's just given his life to the Celtics. Mm -hmm. Um, There should be some return there. Um, Yeah, so again, back to your original question, two years at least, I hope. That'd be great. Sounds good to me. It's entertaining. (laughs) Just keep playing like you. Any any deviation? We got to read. We got to rethink everything. But yeah, I mean, I mean, I was talking about this with Adam, and I've said this a bunch. You know, beginning of the year was it wasn't a a chore to watch.